What's going on? Jose here with SwagAcademy.com and I want to talk to you about some single dad benefits and specifically if you're a recent single dad who may be feeling stuck or maybe you're trying to figure things out but you just can't, you've lost your mojo and you're thinking, you know what, this sucks. I just, I don't know what to do. It's all new to you and I get it. I was there a few years ago trying to figure it all out, coming off of a long-term role as, uh, you know, a husband and also a dad and doing that full time so that's really all I knew for the better part of 16 years and then suddenly I was a single dad just trying to figure it all out so what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna give you seven silver linings that hopefully are gonna shift your perspective a little bit uh, because I, I highly believe that your attitude changes um, the results that you're gonna get in the short and in the long term so it's, it's important to start thinking of this right off the bat, not focus so much on the negative. Trust me, I'm aware that there are disadvantages and challenges. I'm not dismissing that. I just want you to start thinking and focusing on the positive. So let's get right into it, all right? So the first silver lining is you are gonna have some a little bit of extra time to work on yourself. Why? Because you're not gonna be a full-time parent. And I know that can suck, but trust me, you have to use that to your advantage because this is where you're gonna have the time to heal, uh, especially if you came off of a breakup and you're just gonna have more time to work on yourself do the things that you like to do and you want to do that maybe you weren't able to do before um, so take advantage of that and do that the second silver lining is that hey guess what you're gonna be back on the market and that can be a little bit scary at first but trust me when I tell you once you get out there it's fun and it's exciting and it just gives you something to look forward to because there's a lot of there's a lot of adventures to be had out there in the dating world and, and yeah some of it could be as well a little bit rough to navigate those waters but again this is why I do what I do and I help men with this because once you sort of you, you know you become a good swimmer this is a terrible analogy but you're back out there in the ocean and you're on the market and then suddenly you're gonna start garnishing attention building that confidence back up attracting like-minded women and you're gonna have a blast doing it. So <clears throat> number three, you are gonna get the best of both worlds. What worlds am I talking about? The part where you have responsibilities, but you also have freedom. And again, this kind of goes back to the first point where you have some time where you have to be a dad and you're gonna have time with your kids and I, and I highly recommend you do not let anything interfere or interrupt with that. But then you're also gonna have some time where they may not be with you. And this is the time where you have absolute freedom to do whatever you want. You don't need to check in with anybody. You can be out and about as late as you want, spending your money, doing whatever you want. And that it, it's a lot of fun to be able to do that, not have to answer to anybody but yourself. Number four, you can have certified DILF status. And I'm not going to get into that in this video. I actually have a full... Uh, module and my premium content that kind of breaks this down piece by piece but trust me when I tell you especially if you are it, it's not really about the age if I'm being really honest I mean I was in my mid 30s when I became a single dad and that's in it you know they, they, they women say that you do become more attractive with age but even just being a dad and a lot of women are very very attracted to that we're not gonna get into all the reasons in this video as to why but you have to take my word for it that DILF status is a, is a badge of honor, that it is going to attract a lot more um, when it comes to, to women and prospecting and dating and stuff like that. So use that to your advantage. Number five, you've got creds. And what I mean by creds, there's two different ones. You've got credibility and credentials. And what I mean by credibility is, is, is again, you've, you've proven that you're able to be a dad, number one. <laughs> that you, you've had a family unit at some point in the past. Um, you've been able to hold it down and you still are if you're a single dad, man, kudos to you because it's not an easy job. Sometimes it's harder um, being a single dad. And um, you've got the credentials. So if you're stepping into a role where maybe you're dating a single mom and she has kids and you possibly need to step into that role of the stepdad, then hey, you're, you're already fully trained and fully equipped and you know what you're doing you've had kids of your own so you've got the credentials and the credibility because of that so that will take you a long way if you're dating a single mom uh, number six you will have a chance to rediscover yourself 
And again, this is a result of step one, where you spend the time to heal, to work on yourself, to you know develop your mindset, heal your heart and everything. And as a result of that, you're gonna rediscover who you are, who you really are. And, and for some of you, like it was for me, it may have been years because you had an internal part of you that was suppressed or it was dormant or your partner didn't nurture it and didn't allow it to come to life and you weren't able to express yourself. So once you rediscover yourself, it'll be like, uh, you know, Joe 2.0 because you'll be a completely transformed individual and you'll be much better, you'll be refined. And this is part of the process that I help you through through uh, my academy is just helping you discover who you are, your full potential, what you're able to do and what you're able to give to somebody else because that's the end game, guys. You have to, you know, work on yourself. Obviously, something happened that resulted in, you know, possibly a breakup of a prior relationship. So it's about ongoing growth and development. And once you do that, you're able to be better for the next person and eventually the one that's that's going to be the one, the one that's going to be the love of your life. So you have to have that end in mind and work on yourself and then the seventh silver lining and final is the best one of all my friends is it is that you will give yourself a second chance at love and you know they say a lot of people go an entire lifetime without even finding love one single time and it's the truth not everyone is fortunate enough to find it like real true love and if you've had it in the past even the second time is not guaranteed. It's it's not, you know, it's never something that we can fully control 100%. We can be prepared to capitalize on opportunities when they come our way. And um, it's something that I love to do to coach people through because those chances are few and far between. But it's the best. It's the best part of life. It's, I, I believe it's one of the best parts of life, separate from you know, having the privilege of, of having kids and raising them. But um, if you give yourself a second chance at love and that's everything that that really is, because I know how I felt when I lost that for the first time and feeling like I was never going to have it again. And when I found it, it was just the most amazing feeling in the world. And there's just still so much gratitude for me um, even today as I think back at the entire journey. And it's not even you know, this is just the beginning of the journey for me. It's been two years with my fiance at the moment and uh, we're just getting started. So, you know, I'm sharing my journey with you and I want you to be able to find the same thing, get that second chat, uh, second chance I love. So that's it. These are my seven silver linings, benefits and advantages to being a single dad. So I hope you think on that, focus on the positive and get out there and have some fun. All right. I will see you in the next video.